for Stewart to get the ball. Watch this. The right-hand side of the defense are waiting for what Stewart. Waiting for Stewart. Now, he doesn't give it to him. He's going to keep it and come this way. Earlier, they ran the Statue of Liberty where he did give it to him. Just a great call. Edelman in motion. Edelman takes the swing pass. Edelman's going to throw. Deep downfield, wide open. Amendola, touchdown. It looked to me like it was yep. not even close. Easy. Indeed, that is Julian Edelman's first career attempt and one he will not forget. Wow. Amendola <laughs> straps into the end what zone. What a game. Tremendous. So for the second time, New England overcoming a two-touchdown deficit. And now what happens here, just inside the 30-yard line? Look at the offensive lineman go down. It's a pass back to Moore, and he's going to run with it with a convoy in front. Hayden Moore with his entire offensive line. He scores the touchdown. Little flea flicker fake. Knox on nice. the keep and Knox on the run. Nice move in the open field, a duck under, and knocks inside the 20-yard line. Kev, there we go with the trick play. The one of the other keys of the game that we talked about. And so Knox is going to do the old okey dope right here. Yeah, I'm going to flip it. And then he takes it. So what happened? They were in a cover two. They split the middle. You get your drops. The middle of the field's wide open. Mass day to hold. And it's a fake. And it's inside to the tight end. Wide open. Wow. That is a wonderful job. Don Barclay does a good job down the field. The block by Evan Dietrich Smith. Those two guys are back up. Off There's the ball. Hey, it's going, it's going to Neal. Neal taking around the left side. And Neal is in. The old Barbaruski. Well, you got Wade Phillips. Bum Phillips' son, defensive coordinator. Tribute to his dad, the old, the great coach of the Houston Oilers, Bob Phillips. They call the play the Bumaruski. Look at Marty Schottenheimer. Well, it worked. He's happy about that. It looked really good in practice the other day, too. There we go. It, it was a run because they, they flipped it to him on a lateral. They got a He's going to take it. Look at this. He's going to throw. Touchdown. Oh, my. Oh, look at the players. Hoda Harris. Trying to get everybody on the line of scrimmage now. He still has one timeout. They'll save that for the field goal if they have to. We are seeing another spectacular effort by Marino who fires. Touchdown! You know what the Jets were thinking? He's going to take the ball and throw it into the ground. They he didn't stopped. Do it. They all stopped. If you take a look at it, the offensive linemen, all they did was stand up. And Marino says to Ingram, I mean, that's the communication that they have. You saw fire on the two-point conversion. Tell Marino from the back of his hand, hey, throw the ball to me. Now, here's Ingram for his fourth touchdown. They just, I mean, this is a beautiful play. They catch the Jets napping. They're just standing there. It was inserted, kind of 
altered the rhythm a little bit, but they like this. They, they want their opposing team to have to devote practice time to this package during the week. Well, they want to be able to provide a spark mainly for their offense. Wide open throw down the field. It's Manziel. Penalty markers are flying down as they fooled everyone on that play. 37 yards. Uh, the penalty. Shift. 28 offense. Came in and was not set prior to the snap. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. They're going to call Terrence West. Sally, look at this play here, man. Zell is on the field there, and Shanahan giving him the signal of when to break out into his route. He's wide open. <laughs> it's not his issue, and you saw him show it off there. A big and wide open is Dean Crookshank down the sideline for a touchdown. Kevin Byron. in the first quarter. 54 yard touchdown return on a kickoff. They gave up a kickoff return, but this is a big play, a difference maker, and they got the look they wanted. The gunner outside was uncovered. Once he was uncovered, just oiling up that arm and making sure you didn't throw it out of bounds. <laughs> Over to football, Savoy gets it on. Back to Warren, Warren, touchdown Utah. Three flicker off the screen, how about that one? seen that point. That was brand new, wasn't it? Yep. They broke the seal off of that one. Steve Spurrier didn't even invent one like that. The old ball coach is going to break that one down. Urban Meyer showing everybody why uh, Salt Lake hates to lose him. And Gainesville can't wait for him to arrive. Now going for two for the tie. And some trickery. How about that play? It wound up getting pitched back to Trubisky to tie the game. Hand the ball to Jordan Howard. Hand the ball to Zach Miller. Pitch it to your rookie quarterback. Tied driving 64 yards in eight plays. The big third and 11 conversion to Stewart. The key play. And now an onside kick. Griffith and it's caught. And Alabama's got the ball back. Marlon Humphrey the corner. And a perfectly executed little pooch kick. They like to defer just so they don't have to face this situation where Peyton Manning gets the football in the second half after he's gone in and looked at all those pictures you see him looking at uh, every time he comes off the field. Onside kick to start the second half, and the ball bounces off the hands of a Colt, and it looks like the Saints had it for a second. It came out of the, out of the hands of the Saint player, too. I don't know if he got it back. for the football how about this way to start the second half and the Saints football they recover the onside kick what a fearless start to the second half really unbelievable decision by Sean Payton he talked himself about having the courage to call that fourth down play to us even though we disagreed Dyson and Bird are deep taken by Neal he gives it to Wycheck. Wycheck, that looked like a forward pass. Taken by Dyson. Dyson down the sideline. Dyson's going to go all the way. And there is no flag. Stands, it was a lateral. Now, Presbyterian playing its first game ever against the BCS team, Wake Forest. You can't spell Presbyterian without tricky. All right, well, you can, but you get the point. How about this play? <laughs> they faked them out. They thought it was like it was over, and then they bounce it. It's a back. The old, la the, the old lateral, not dead. That's a great call right there. Look, wow. you think, oh, it's on the turf. Every Everybody stops. No, heaves <laughs> it down the field. The execution, the tosses, perfect. Excellent job by Presbyterian. night how about this formation this is the play that is called hide the midget and they hand it off that's RJ Fleming and he has room to run Fleming inside the 30 finally knocked down at the 25 that 
is a trick play right out of the Gus Malzahn playbook. We talked about the fingerprints being on it. How about that play right there? R.J. Fleming, just 5'9". Where is he? Down there, you see Freddie Knight, who's got it? Ball State's looking all over the place. By the time they found him, it was too late. Very nice job of using plays like that selectively. Oh, boy. Bryant's going to throw, and Witten's wide open. Scott Linehan with a great call for a Dallas touchdown. From the 20 on fourth down. And the pass is caught. Colin Rastetler threw the ball. Down to the goal line, the trickeration. And that was his snapper, Tyler Kluver, on the receiving end. That ball hung up forever. <laughs> it didn't look so hot in the air. But Kluver, give him credit, that ball's hung in the air just to come up with it. And it couldn't stay on his feet. Wow. This is not the MO for Kirk Ferentz. He is by the book, doesn't like it. Here is A.J. Trapasso, who will do the punting, the regular punter, and we get a trick play here. And it is Trapasso who will carry the ball for a first down inside the 20 and all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Craig Hendrick is their regular punter, but he's not even dressed tonight. And Trapasso, a rookie out of Ohio State, goes 40 yards on a fourth and 10. They're going to fake the reverse to Michael Griffin, the safety. The old Statue of Liberty looking play. Everybody assumes that they're going to give him the football. And the punter takes off with the ball. And here we go, Al. Not Beautiful. a bad way to start the season. Well, they got the Cowboys that time. They've been throwing that wide receiver screen to Antonio Brown so often, and then they got it in behind him. Here's a fake spike. Brown, touchdown, Pittsburgh. Shades of Marino. to get away Austin back deep and the punt taken on the far side by Stedman Bailey Bailey down the sideline and he will take it all the way the Seahawks were faked out by Austin he set up for the return on the left side the kick went to the right and it's Bailey who takes it back 86 yards for a Rams touchdown Looks like something you see on the internet, Darrell, with all these trick plays. Uh, no, this is something that Jeff Fisher talked to us about, Tony. He's got John Ryan. Now, when he's out near midfield, he is so consistent with that rugby-style kick. Big down. Third and a long five. Heading to the end zone and very close to it was Dean Steinkohl. He's in for a touchdown. Was totally full. The best technicians in the world goes into the end zone for a Nebraska touchdown. Now we're going to see how it happens because I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, it's one of those guards around. Every good team has one, but you never figure to throw it. Watch Turner Gill come out. Dean Stein Cooler, number 71. He hands it to Old Dean. The ball, he didn't hold it. He left it right on the ground. The only way you can give it to a lineman is you got to fumble it. He cannot take it and hand it to him. So what he did is he got it from the center and left it on the ground. That's out of field goal range. Well, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm again, I'm one of these guys right now. I punt the ball and I make that freshman quarterback, Kyle Parker, wake up and do something. Field position, push him back, put pressure on him. Now we're going to set up to try one. Blair. He's going to throw it. They got a fake and they got Thomas wide open on the sidelines. No signal. Now touchdown. Here's Beckham looking to throw. 
Wide open, it's Barkley. Inside the 20, still going. Into the end zone, touchdown. Well, Beckham wanted the Giants to go downfield a little bit more. How about that? A nice block in front of him by Shepard 87 to give him enough time because Bradbury became a pass rusher on this play. But watch Barkley, number 26 out of the backfield. He just sneaks out because all the attention and all the eyes of the defense because Odell Beckham is such a threat. When the ball goes in his direction, everyone's eyes go to him. And all eyes are on 13 and people forgot about 26, secures the catch and then finishes it off escaping the attempted tackle by Jermaine Carter Jr., number 56, for the initial touchdown of the game by the Giants. Covey back kick. deep at the 27. Covey deep. And the ball fielded on the opposite side. How about this? Utah's going to run it in for a touchdown. 69 yards. Wow. Watch all the Oregon players. They're going to take off to the right because Britton Covey is going to fake the fair catch. You see how he's drifting off to his left, and they all follow him. The ball's being caught way up here at the top of your screen, right there. All the Oregon defenders, except for one, are on the wrong side of the field. And he takes it back for a touchdown. Hobbs on the return. This game plan has been a masterpiece. Extra point, good. And he pitched it to the left, and now here's the handoff on the reverse to Antoine Randall Allen. He's going to throw it down the field. There's a man open. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Hines Ward! The Steelers score from 43 up on a gadget play that they worked on in practice on Friday. Spinner on that. That's a smart play to catch that of the 10 yard line there by Keegan Brewer. So, North Texas has come into Fayetteville and showed well, he, no he's never made a fair it. catch. No, he sign. didn't make a fair catch signal. He's gone. Brewer down the sideline. This is going to be a touchdown. He caught that in the 10. Nobody thought he was going to do it, and he took off. Yeah, I, I was thinking to myself, I didn't see a fair catch sign, but uh, he kind of stopped. Everybody else stopped. We all did. And I there did. was no whistle blown. And away you go. To try to set it to a second overtime. Conroy. It's a fake. Bates is going to throw. He's going to Touchdown. Michigan State wins it in overtime. The call of the year. disrupt their coverages and that is the biggest difference in this football team this year. Culpepper with time running out here in the first half. All kinds of time going to throw it deep for Moss. Pulls it in at the 10 yard line. Flips it over his head. This is a touchdown. The Broncos are looking for some sort of a flag that's going to save them. There is none. To move the chains. A last gasp for the Broncos. Bransky's legs might be critical here to save time on throwing the ball. Down the middle. James. The lateral. To the corner of the end zone. Can you believe that? I still think him with some type of run pass option going to the right. Boise State for the win. They hand it off to Johnson. Boise State has won the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Can you believe? <laughs>